Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage or Get Weighted Glimmer. If you flip in the PAL regions, which is very much possible, it's seeing how fair for my audience comes from those areas. But, yes, anyways, for this Rage, Get Weighted Glimmer, blah blah. Choose your favorite title. I think they're fairly equal, personally. I'm just naming the videos Ripto's Rage because I'm American, so it makes sense. So, let's talk to Laura. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. All right, not too big a deal. I think there's six worlds here. There five. I want to say six, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, in any case, there's a fair bit before we get to go into the boss, which is something I'm not going to say yet, even though you all probably already know it. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Interesting. Actually, looking at this structure, it kind of reminds me of something. It has a vague resemblance to the whale in Spyro 3. I don't know if this had anything to do with that or whatnot, but. Ah, mm. uh, sound. It'll fix. For those of you that didn't see part 1, the sound glitches in time to time. It's nothing too major and it will fix itself. You can see there it goes, it lags. That's usually the sign that it's fixing itself. This has the only time it lags. It's fixing the sound sound sync. I can't figure out what the sync issue is, but it might take me a while. I'm just gonna try to frame the parts for a while, but. Hunter. Hi Spyro, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Would it even have been possible to get through Glimmer without knowing that, Hunter? In one, you needed to glide across that bridge earlier. But ignoring, which is the same for us, but then there's also steps to get inside the building with the tiles. So would that have been possible, Hunter? Okay, not bad. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. I'm pretty sure if you double jump here, you can actually get away with not having to glide at all. I don't know how to glide. I think double nice jump job. Place here. Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Yes, that we've been over all this before. I'll do it the legit way, but you can in fact just do a double jump hover. I mean not double jump hover, double jump glide and it'll make it perfectly fine. Uh Hunter? Get up here. Hunter, get back. Uh, he has something what to hover. Say? Press. Yeah, we know. Here you, Hunter. I'm showing off the fun way. Oh, that'd be actually more distance. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start. Jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. It's not that hard to glide. Even if I do legitly like this, it's wow, still easy. you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't athlete. lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. <laughs> well, we get an orb. That's nice. Some gems, some gems down. Oh, Sparks, hello. the what dragonfly the? following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. No. 
You probably noticed that I've been trying to get through as many gems as I can. He's back! And yes, I do realize in fact you could skip money by a bunch of double jump maneuvers, but it's not worth it. Just buy the move. That might try and do things at least somewhat legitly, so... He's gonna ask you for 500 gems. Let's see if we can make that. Whoa, slow down again. Which makes sense, because we don't have enough time to Is there anything else around that I can get? Hope so. I heard more. Which, I guess, makes sense. There's an orb around here, but it's really tough to get, so... Mm, not tough to get, but it's tough to get when you're trying to do it with the double jump maneuver. Someone that's a retired Spyro speedrunner, I would know this. Well, I, I call myself retired, but I'll go back in if I'm giving, given a reason to. But the, the people I to speed on with sometimes are just... Yeah. So it's kind of like, wait. Let me double check something. I tried to pause the game, but it's really slow. I'm just gonna set a couple things. Map is on, camera's active. Oh, but it takes some time to unpause. Let's see how it is. I should have checked the gem balls, boss. What was I thinking? Um. Is there any jumps around here I can still get, or will I have to go into another level? Starting to seem like... Maybe I can do a swim bridge. Um, it's another trick. You come up to the water like this and you can swim. But I, mean, I just realized that I don't have swimming, so that wouldn't be a possibility. Yes! A gem! There's only one, but I can at least see how many I have. 53? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to wind up finding 50 gems in this little area. So... Hmm... Bit of a letdown. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next part. Part 2 is gonna have to be really short, sadly. But... Organization is what counts, right? See you guys in the next part when we do it. Not that one. Oh, another gem, by the way. But Ooh, two gems. So not enough. We're gonna go through Colossus. There's a reason I'm going through Colossus. But I'll explain that in a little bit later. So, see you guys then. Bye.